Today, I'm going to introduce five of the best themed cafes that I recommend. And if you plan to visit smartly, there's no need for reservation or hours long waiting time. So in this video, you are going to see me high five a bear, blacken my lips, climb a tree house, bite off an ear, and sit on a throne. Sounds like an adventure. Without further ado, let's go. First up is Anakuma. At first glance, you would never know that this is a cafe at all and would be confused by the hole in the wall. But once you purchase a drink using the touch screen, you will quickly be greeted by a fluffy paw through that hole. All communication is done through the hole and all staff are in various bear costumes. We got to talk to Bowles in the brown paw and Law in the white paw and they were even so nice to give us heated pads and snacks on a cold day. The cafe is just a 5 minute walk from Harajuku station and two coffees cost us 2,600 yen. It's pretty good coffee. Next up is 2D Cafe, located a 5 minute walk from Tokyo's Korea town known as Shinokubo Station. This cute cafe is designed to resemble a cartoon. The interior and decor is mostly white with black outlines, but even the food features a 2D style. We ordered various dishes at the counter from their selection of food and drinks, and it cost 2,820 yen for two people. Ah! It's quite nice. It's like a bit fruity. The cream is really light. I like it. Our third cafe is Les Grands Abreux, located a short walk from Hiro Station. You would not be wrong to think that this is a flower shop disguised as a treehouse, but get up two floors and you'll be greeted by friendly staff and delicious food. You can order via QR code and two plates of salmon cream pasta and chickpea hummus are 3,350 yen. If you're more of a solitary person, you can also take your coffee and enjoy the outdoor scenery in their treehouse with a chair and a very small table. That's really nice. Our fourth cafe is Shirohige Cream Puff, located in the hip neighborhood of Shimokitazawa, and is decorated with my neighbor Totoro art. The first floor features a souvenir shop and a bakery where you can buy various Totoro themed items and cream puffs. But if you climb up the stairs to the second floor, cafe, and restaurant area, you'll be able to order delicious Totoro shaped cream puff in various flavors and enjoy some great coffee by making an order through their QR code system. Three cream puffs and three coffees are about 3,120 yen. Uh, so I'm thinking about how to eat the Totoro. Like either I can put a fork through its head, <laughs> sounds kind of morbid, but or I can bite its head off or I can bite from the butt. Ready? Mm. Strawberry cream. Poor thing is missing a whole half a head. <laughs> And an eyeball, yeah. <laughs> but it's very cute. It's delicious as well. Our final destination for the day is just three steps from the C5 exit of Shinjuku Sanchome Station. 8-Bit Cafe started about 18 years ago as a place for gamers and music lovers alike to meet and hang out. It is littered with gaming memorabilia, and you can even play some old video games. Even the food and drinks are named and designed after the video game references. We ordered a Triforce and a Coke and it set us back 1,200 yen. It is a great treasure trove for like-minded people, but please make sure to sit down when doing your business. Mm-hmm. プレイしたりとかして育っ
多分この内装とかを見て楽しんでもらうことも楽しいだろうし美味しいドリンクももともと僕バーテンだったから美味しいドリンクも作れますんでぜひ新宿に来たら寄ってくださいありがとうございます、はい、完璧です<笑>はい OK so this concludes the best theme cafe video what do you guys think leave me a comment below And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.